let us talk about uh, agent oriented programming as you've heard about uh, object oriented programming so we are going to talk about a new trend which is called as agent oriented programming so this diagram is a brief introduction itself so let us see um, the contents we have introduction here what are the essentials of oap oap or rather aop and uh, examples of these software agents languages comparison of object oriented programming and aop the methodologies and the typical application of agent programming mobile computing then we conclude so let us in introduce it what is the objective of ao technology the objective of agent oriented uh, technology is to build a system applicable to real world that can observe and act as in the pro environment right object oriented programming was to imitate real world but agent oriented technology is that we can observe it can observe and act on changes in the environment right so such systems which we are talking about must be able to behave rationally and autonomously in completion of their designated task so rational and autonomous behavior is the key of agent oriented technology then uh, shoham he suggested that aop system needs each of the three elements to be complete according to shoham oap has is actually uh, has or is has three points specifically three elements to be more precise first a formal language with clear syntax for describing the mental state this would likely include the structure of stating beliefs pass, uh, passing messages etc then this is a formal language right then a programming language in which to define the agents the semantics of this language should be closely related to the formal language this formal language and this is a programming language the semantics are to be closely related and a method for converting this neutral applications into agents right this kind of tool will allow an agent to communicate with a non agent example of software agents are see an animated paper clip in microsoft office like computer viruses those it is an example of destructive agent but this is also an agent and artificial players or actors in computer games and simulation uh, for example web spiders which collects the uh, data to build indexes to be used by software engine now the languages uh, which we just talked about is like this you have a control a data flow now uh, these are the controls right these are the controls these are the data flow and this is initialization like initialize mental state and capabilities define rules for making new commitments then updating the mental state and then executing commitments for current time and this is the mental state and capability this is the incoming messages these are the out outgoing messages so incoming messages are just are coming a uh, lot of things are happening uh, as related to the mental state updating a mental state and execution of it and then the outgoing messages right so it becomes more intelligent rational and autonomous let us see the comparison of object oriented programming and agent oriented programming object oriented programming is an abstract class while aop is generic role it has a generic role it is class specific it is domain specific role oop has member variable aop has knowledge or belief oop is essentially have method aop also have a function or a capability oop oop is has uses like collaborations aop has negotiations oop has compositions means it has and uh, aop has holonic agents and oop has inheritance like all object oriented paradigm um, elements it has inheritance it has role multiplicity 
OOP has instantiation, AOP has domain specific rule plus individual knowledge as well. OOP has polymorphism while AOP has service matchmaking. This is uh, an example or diagrammatical view of the methodology of a tropos methodology. So an actor diagram, this is an actor diagram specifying the project stakeholders and their more main goal dependency. So this, these are the actors, these are the goals, these are the soft goals. So a depender, then dependum, the dependee, then the goal dependency. This is a short example of employing the soft goal, goal and actor to make a tropos technology or tropos methodology which specify the project stakeholders and their main goal dependency like for visitor enjoy visit for uh, say um, you know for a museum provide cultural service so this is the task of uh, an actor and this is the soft goal while this is the goal this is the goal like pad it increase internet use citizen get cultural information right and this is the architectural design this actor diagram of the architecture of the e culture system okay this one now we have e culture system say to provide info educational services these are and these need to be there and this provide info it needs an info uh, broker for virtual visits it needs a virtual visit broker for system manager it needs system interfacing the system interfacing that means you need to have a system interface manager so this is the architectural design and typical application of agent programming are mobile computing mobility concurrent problem solving proxy handling communication traffic routing and information scouts so let us conclude this is just uh, an introduction so we need a program and uh, we need to program an agent which meets all the required abilities can that can be quite a daunting task as qualities such as desire and belief have to be incorporated within the agent this is a very huge task and a framework for sharing with other agents uh, that has to that has been designed thereby requiring elements of ai to be incorporated into the agent Thank you so much. Hope you got a bit idea of what is AOP.